Good evening, everybody. Uh, dealing with an inequality. We have an initial condition. We have this eighth degree uh, polynomial and it's equal to some constant C where C is just a real number. Also, we're specifying that I, uh, X is greater than zero, but you'll notice that this inequality holds for X equals zero. Notice if you put zero here, zero here, zero here, you get uh, C is equal to one, and then you would have zero is less than one half. And you can also verify that it holds for one. If you put one in here, you would get C is equal to four, and then you would have uh, one plus one is less than or equal to uh, four over two, or it's actually, they're, they're equal. So the equality condition actually holds here for uh, X equals one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get busy um, establishing the truth of this uh, inequality. Um, now, this first statement right here, it's motivated by the fact that we're trying to prove an inequality that involves X to the seventh. So this is degree eight. So dividing through by X makes quite a bit of sense. Okay. Now, uh, also right here, uh, this is just the factorization. You can check it out X to the sixth plus one quantity times X squared plus one quantity is actually this guy right here. Okay. Now, right here, there's where, here's where the real operational part happens. Uh, of course, you can think of uh, X as one times X, right? X is one times X. And so what happened right here, you just took properties of fractions, let the one hang with the X squared plus one, you get that, and divide the X into X squared plus one, and you get this expression right here, X plus one over X, okay? Now that, so far it seems inconsequential, but if you if you go on down, uh, we have a string of e equalities right here, so I just recopied this part attached to this part right here on this very next line. Now, the, the, again, the part that makes this fly is this uh, uh, well-known inequality that relates uh, addition and multiplication. Let me, I'll, I'll just run through this with you. Um, what the AMGM inequality says is that you can, you can uh, I'll just write it down, x plus one over x. Okay, uh, divided by two. Y'all sorry about this, this is divided by two. I'm running out of room, I never leave enough space. Yeah, but that reads x plus one over x uh, divided by two, that's the arithmetic mean, that's where the AM comes from, is greater than or equal to the square root of the product of these two guys right here. So that's uh, like this. So X times one over X, but these are certainly reciprocals. So uh, uh, X over X is just one. So this is just equal to the square root of one, which is just one, okay? And so you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that if you multiply through by two right here, uh, you get X, uh, plus one over X is uh, greater than or equal to two. And you can see the equality condition on this holds for X equals one, that should sound familiar from up here. Okay, so anyway, that's, uh, that I just showed you why this worked because of the uh, AMGM uh, inequality. And then uh, the rest of it just follows. Um, it, this implies that C over X, which is what we're interested, I mean, that's, uh, well, it, this implies that C over X is greater than or equal to X to the six plus one divided by two, okay? And then, uh, let's see, and when you, yeah, yeah, and guys, remember X is greater than zero. So if you multiply through by X and divide by two, you get what we were trying to prove. Let me, okay, that's the statement we're trying to prove. I just have it written backwards down here. But we've shown that X to the seventh plus X is less than or equal to uh, uh, C over two. So that's that folks. And by the way, if you do graph this, you'll see that you have this cubic, it's a cubic, you know, the end behavior is cubic. It's underneath this squared in, in behavior uh, polynomial, always directly underneath it. And it hugs it pretty closely as X gets larger and larger and larger. Hope you enjoyed.